The accident and emergency team are ready and waiting for the air ambulance to land. They know that six-year-old Amy is on board with deep cuts to her chest. Ooh, sounds nasty. How did that happen? Amy was playing in the garden over at her best friend Erin's house. Nothing better than a garden party. Let's dance. If you say so. They were playing about in a paddling pool. Amazing. Nothing better than a pool party. OK, Zand. Plus, the sun was shining, so she was enjoying a nice, cool drink. Nothing better than the sun shining and enjoying a nice, cool... Ah! Watch out! But she slipped and fell on the glass, cutting her chest. Ouch! The doctors are worried that the glass might have gone right through to her internal organs, which could be very serious indeed. So a whole load of experts get to work at the same time. They're called the trauma team, and they know how to work fast. Helping Amy are doctors, nurses, surgeons, and a very special furry friend. They two on the, on the helicopter gave it to me. Leading the team today is Dr Mary Ryan. So the first thing that we have to make sure of always is that Amy's breathing OK. Breathing really good. We're really concerned that one of her lungs might have collapsed. Uh, so we have to make sure that she has air moving on both sides of her chest. Have you had any problems with your breathing or does it feel all right? <laughs> Amy's breathing sounds good, so it's time to focus on those cuts. They need further investigation. We're going to take a chest x-ray now and make sure that no shards of glass have penetrated anywhere we can't see. It's got to relax and hold Mummy's hand. OK, that's your first picture done. It's over to nurse practitioner Sarah Jackson to tell us the news. There hasn't been any damage to her lungs. The cuts aren't as deep as that, but there is a small piece of glass in her chest. Actually, it's very, very close to the lining of the lung. She's been quite lucky. She's going to need surgery to remove the glass, but amazing Amy is taking it all in her stride. I feel fine. There's lots and lots of nice people and doctors. Oh, well, that's good. We'll catch up with Amy later and see how she gets on in theatre.